welcome to another video by the Happy Woodworker. So, we are continuing our chest set, and today you're getting a camera view angle from beside me. Um, so far, we have cut all 32 pieces, and I have done the sanding to them. Uh, in this video, we're going to start the separations. Um, so I'm going to come in with a parting tool and start to get this really close to parting off. And I'm more concerned with how I part the top than I am with how I part the bottom because I can always do more with that later. Uh, some of these I'm going to do on the leg and some of these I'm going to do on a bandsaw. So you're going to get to see both methods. So here we go. I've got this set up, locked down in place. Uh, we're going to come in with a little miniature parting tool and we're going to take this down almost where it separates. That's pretty good. I'm down to less than a quarter of an inch holding on to that. Okay, I'm going to come in with a very small skew chisel. Separated off very nicely, um, and I have this down thin enough. To watch this. All I have to do twist that right off. There's my pilot hole. A little bit of sanding on the bottom of that. A little bit of weights and felt, and we're good. So there's our first pawn. So now we'll start working our way through each piece. And I'm probably going to change the camera angle on you again because it's a little difficult for me to get in here and catch these. And we're back again. We've gone back to bird's eye view for you. And we are going to continue on our separation of our chest pieces. Here we go. Small parting tool right into the edge. Probably enough for me to tear that. Now, go back to a small skew. Things are about to go flying. So here we go. I got that one. Well, I was able to tear off a piece just so you can see. So that's what I left.
I don't actually have to do. I can see it starting to wobble, so I know it's going to come right apart. I've worked my point up a little further. So now I can just go very gently, take it right off. And I will use some fam sandpaper and some files on these, and then we will have a nice point. I'll see if I did the bottom right. Off she goes. Very nice. So I decided to do that one differently. Brought that all the way down so you can see. There's my pilot hole. And I took this up far enough where I can just do that. And I'm not worried about any tear out because that's going to get sanded down a little bit. All right. And the correct tool the first time. That one separated itself for me. Again, pretty rough cut into that, you can see, but nobody's going to see the bottom. And that has enough of a nub left on the top that it'll sand right over. Hello, YouTube. As promised, we are in the final segments of doing our chest set. Um, I have pulled out the bandsaw, and some of these I've taken the tops off on, some of them were too weak um, for me to separate the bottom. So that's what we're going to do on the bandsaw. We're going to feed these through very, very carefully, and we're going to make an attempt at it. Uh, this one, we're going to separate both on the bandsaw. Just to show you, you can do it. First, we'll start with the top. Actually, yeah, I'll start with the top. There we go. And then to the bottom. There, and I'm going to clean that up.
just tilt it up a little bit to make sure.